Hi everyone, today's video is going to be extremely random. It's about the strength of this plastic straw rope, often used for packaging. Now you might look at this and think, well, it's not going to be very strong because it's just a thin plastic. And if you unwrap it, you can easily rip it like this. And it's true, it's easy to rip that way. But if you try and tear it sideways, you'll see it just doesn't tear. If you try and snap it with your hands, you see it's incredibly strong. Now I bought this whole bundle, 400 grams, and it was 65 peso, which is around one great British pound or just over one US dollar. And I was thinking, well, why don't we test just how strong it really is? And As you can see, I've tied a knot in the packing rope. We're gonna hang it from this piece of wood, attach a weight. For anyone curious, the length is around 22 centimeters. And we'll start with a 20 pound weight. Okay, seems to be handling 20 pounds without any problem. Now we'll go for 40 pounds. This is a very heavy weight. And you can see it's handling that without any problem. It's quite amazing just how strong this rope is. Let's, so next up we have 50 pounds. And again, you can see it's managing that weight. 50 pounds is a lot of weight for something like this. 25 centimeters so we've gained maybe three centimeters but the interesting thing is it hasn't snapped it is managing the weight so we're now going to go for 60 pounds and this and there you go amazing even 60 pounds hasn't snapped we're around 26 centimeters so yes there is some stretch but it's still managing to handle that weight Absolutely incredible, it really is. Let's give it a little push and see if we can make it snap. No, look at that, I'm putting quite a bit of bounce on that and it is not snapping. That is a strong, strong, strong plastic. Imagine, this is all it is and it's so cheap. The thing that I'm so interested in is if you want to carry 30 meters of rope, it's heavy and it takes up a lot of space. But if you want to carry 30 meters of this and you fold it up, it doesn't weigh anything doesn't take up much space so it's a very interesting idea to use this kind of rope no it's not suitable for everything and it's probably not suitable for long term uh, but for temporary things that you might need to carry or lift or tie up this is very promising and it's very very cheap now of course right now we're using two strands to hold the weight let's try remove this and rig it with just one strand of rope coming down so we now have a single piece of straw rope. The length between the knot and the wood is around 17 and a half centimeters. And we're going to start with 20 pounds. And as expected, no problem with 20 pounds. So let's up the ante. So now we're going for 30 pounds. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem. The knot is slipping. It's not the rope, it's the knot. So uh, anyway, it did manage to hold that, um, but we have got a little bit of length increase because the knot failed. So that's uh, my fault, but you can see that 30 pounds, no problem. What I'll do is remove the weight and retie the knot so that it's not hanging so low. Otherwise, we're gonna to touch our base here. Uh, for anyone's curious, I've got some pillows down here so that if it drops, it's not gonna damage anything. So here we go, I've retied that and the length is around 20 centimeters. And we're now going for 40 pounds. Okay, you can see it's managed that weight, although we are getting some stretch here and uh, we're not yet touching the floor, but it's getting close. You can see that it is still hanging because it will spin freely. Oh. Oh, the knot's going again. That's not good. Hasn't failed yet. Oh, there you go. We had a failure, but not because the rope snapped, but because the knot failed. So again, that's my fault. So I've retied it, single strand. I've made it shorter this time because I know it's going to stretch a lot, around 15 centimeters. So we're going to add 50 pounds. And there you go, a lot of stretch, but it's handling the weight 50 pounds on a single strand of plastic straw tape. See, it's still hanging, but it's stretched a lot. Let's use a tape measure, 
26 centimeters and it's soon going to touch the ground but if you notice it stretches it doesn't easily snap okay before it touches the ground let's cut it to see how it reacts and there you see that all the fibers exploded apart Now I know this hasn't been super scientific, but it just gives you a rough idea of how strong this can be, especially considering how cheap and light it is. You can get 30 meters of this, fold it up, put it in your bag, it will barely occupy any space, doesn't weigh anything at all. I'm not saying it's perfect for everything, you wouldn't want to use this for rock climbing for example, because you know it's going to get ripped, it's going to get torn, and uh, if it's under high pressure if it's really taut and then something nicks the side yes maybe you're going to have a total failure but for many things it really is useful and if you put a knot in it it does hold pretty well I mean earlier I had some failures but that's because you know I'm lifting 50 60 pounds or holding at least you know as a static weight um, but if you're just using it for tying things together it's it's very good it's really actually amazing stuff um, I know this video won't be of interest to everyone a lot of people will think why are you making a video about plastic rope like what's the point well I saw it in the shop and I thought wow that's quite strong and then I thought how strong is it why don't we find out and uh, I brought you along on the ride so uh, yeah thanks for watching